Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Keith Garvin. Good evening. I'm Daniela Guzman. Those bodies of the two victims were found on different days, just miles apart from each other. Let's go to KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry live tonight in downtown at HPD headquarters with much more on the families seeking closure. Bryce. Daniela, these families never knew each other before these separate tragedies brought them together. But tonight, with similar circumstances surrounding their loved ones' deaths, all they want is answers. I just want to know what happened. After nearly two weeks, Lavinia Escamilla still doesn't know how her brother Jesus died. All I know is that they found him and that he was already decomposed. The family set up this memorial after someone found his body on August 19th near the intersection of 75th and Lawndale in southeast Houston in a grassy area right next to a busy commercial parking lot. Escamilla keeps coming back to where her brother last laid. That's the only thing I have, just the smell that was there, like on the floor. But after these sisters saw Escamilla's death on the news, they left a note at the cross asking the family to call. That's when my head just started going crazy. Crazy because these three sisters from two different families are all grief stricken. And it's sad because they need answers just as much as we do. Mireya and Leslie Monjaras still don't know how their brother Rudy died. A Houston fire crew found his body about six weeks earlier on July 6th, also in a grassy field less than 10 minutes up the road. Both men Hispanic, both 29 years old. It feels like it's connected somehow. somehow yeah. Monjaras' sisters traced his last known steps through a supermarket parking lot just across the street from where Escamilla's body was found. But both families say they're struggling to get details from HPD and worry someone else's family could be next. And it's scary because I'm concerned for us and for anybody else that lives in this area. HPD has not said that these two cases are connected and that investigation is pending the cause and manner of death results from the medical examiner's office. But tonight, a spokesperson for the medical examiner's office tells us it's not clear how much longer that information could take. We're live at HPD headquarters tonight. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Bryce, thank you. We'll